Finny, you ready to go feed the animals? Yeah. All right, let's go. I'm talking to them. What about you, sis? You ready? Yeah. <laughs> You're on the video. Say good morning. We've got to get all of this organized, hopefully today, because we have animal feed everywhere. But these girls are going to be ready to eat. I've already heard them talking to us. Can I play outside? Yeah, of course you can play outside. Hey, girls. Hey, girls. Y'all want some goat feed? Yes, baby. Oops. Too small and too big. <laughs> Mommy dumped it all. Two mediums, two smalls, and two bigs of what? Goats. Oh, you're right. You're so right. Two bigs, two mediums, cream and strawberry, and two smalls. I can see matcha. <laughs> Here's the issue. My girls tried to come in the back porch. Hey, creams, come on. Creams, come on. Creams, come on, come out of there. Look, I got some green. Cream, creams, come on. Bobo, if I, I get her out. Yeah, try to get her out. Creams. Girls riding me half to death. <laughs> Good job getting her out, Emma. So we give the goats a little bit every day of these black sunflower seeds. Um, they're usually in the bird section, but um, I was recommended to give those by another goat um, family, <laughs> for lack of a better word, but uh, uh, some friends that owned goats and they recommended giving a handful of these every day to the goats, so we've been doing that. Um, since I have six, I give about half of a coffee can of those, maybe a third actually of a coffee can of those. I'm also going to show you real quick this Icelandic sea kelp that I give my goats. This is a supplement that I um, found recommended in the Holistic Goat book. And so I have a tub filled with that um, and I just cut out the packaging label and like taped to the top with packing tape. That way I always know what's in my totes <clears throat> for my feed. But um, I give them a scoop of that every, uh, every actually twice a day and that really helps with uh, iodine content. You saw a grasshopper? Let's go feed Nelly. Oh, Masha can't get him. Oh, well, Masha was trying to get him. Yeah. We're gonna go. Masha, what you doing, Masha? What you doing, baby? Ah. Emma, give her a pet. What you doing, Masha? Here's she wants a little scratch. Hey, Miracle. Water. She's trying to drink your water. <laughs> no. She has her own water, silly. Masha, try it. Hey, Nelly. She's waiting for her breakfast. These girls are ready to get out. What's up? You gonna jump on the trampoline? What is it? What is it, baby? Let's see what it is. Oh, what is that? I think it's a little cricket. I think the, the thing that he thinks that a grasshopper. Is it a grasshopper? I'm not sure. Hey, you ready to get out? Well, of course it's alive.
Emma, careful. Here, Cole, don't get up there. Not the chicken ladder. Not a goat ladder. <laughs> Come on, Miracle. Ellie girl, you've knocked your feeder over again. Are you hungry, baby? So this is the grass outside of Nellie's little pen that we've got here. And I've been holding off on letting her out on the grass um, because we've been kind of in drought-like conditions and then we had a couple of good rains. And we have some Johnson grass in the field and those conditions will simulate toxicity in the Johnson grass. So. I'm not an expert by any means, but I did read to wait a week after the rain to let her out on the grass. So we're kind of doing a withdrawal period from the grass and it's been about a week. So I think I'm gonna let her out today. So she's having her grain right now and I'm gonna go get her some hay. Hey Nellie. Oh yeah? You're gonna put a ball in there? See what she does? Don't put it in her feeder though, baby. Throw it on the ground, see if she wants to play with it. What you drinking? Water. You gonna drink it up? Oh, cool. Oh, uh, it's okay. Try not to jump in it. Imps, did you forget something? You don't want to. But you have to, baby. They need to get out. So my ideas for this room are to turn this into a harvest kitchen. Right now it's full of overflow, freezers, feed, minerals, unpacking stuff, ugh, kitchen stuff, but it has potential. Hey girls, y'all want to go out to the pasture? Goodness, somebody's got a cough. Creams, you okay, baby? Miracle, what you doing? What are you doing, Finn? These girls love to hop up on this old propane tank. What you doing? Are you trying to climb up? the first time the goats are going out in the field and it'll be the first time that they've been with Nellie who's out in the field grazing right now. Come on girlies. Let's see what they think of it. Lacy, strawberry, flowers, the painted one, creams is white and cream. Here's Ginger. Where's Miracle, guys? Oh, I should have known. She's the first one out. 
<laughs> She's the first one to do everything. We'll see what they think. We are planning on doing a rotational browsing program or a rotational foraging program out here. But let's see what they uh, what the goats think of it. It's just grass right now. I bet they like it here. What do you think? kids think about it. Mm -hmm. Fairly nice down here. <laughs> Nellie is starting to notice it. Got yeah. We've been nervous to do this this summer because the backside of this pasture is not enclosed. But hopefully they don't wander off that way. And we're right here with them. Don't step on that cactus. There's a cactus? Yeah. Huh. Super, super hot places. <laughs> yeah, cactuses are in super hot places. Are you leaving, Strawberry? He's like, I like home better. <laughs> Not impressed. <laughs> Lacey, be careful, honey. She's pregnant. We gotta be gentle with her. I think they're still figuring out what it's go what's going on. They're not used to being out here. I like how Masha's posted up. So goats are natural foragers rather than grazers. So they actually like to reach up and eat leaves and things like that off the trees rather than bending down to eat grass. So you see they're going for the edge of the field. When they have an option, they will eat grass, but if they have an option, they'll go for the trees first. So we are um, trying to figure out exactly where we want to put our compost area. Um, I got some free poop last night <laughs> from a friend of mine and um, Oh, sorry. My husband says fertilizer. We got some free fertilizer last night from a friend of mine. And also, I've been scraping up all the goats who from all the weekend. And we're going to um, create a compost area. But we have too much, actually, uh, manure to really utilize one of those like little spinny compost bins. Um, we did have one of those when we were in town. Um, but we are going to use some pallets to create like a compost area. So we're just out here looking to see which, where we really want to put it. And the sense, it makes the most sense really to put it near my cow's area that she's um, stationed in because she creates the most manure out of all the animals. So um, I'm going to flip the camera around and show you where she's at. So this is her area. <laughs> For some reason the goats are going in there right now. Um, but so we're thinking somewhere along the perimeter of doing our compost area. But it would nice, be nice if it's accessible for putting all the goat um, poop in as well when I bring it down. 
So I'm kind of thinking on the border of this fence, but then you don't want it to be in the way when the tractor's coming through either, and that's where the tractor comes through. So, <coughs> hmm, where is the perfect location? I think it's gonna have to be on this fence side. That way it's not impeding anything. We'll just have to haul down the goat poo with the wheelbarrow. They're taking munches on it. Ben, what you doing? What is that? A toy? What kind of toy? So what you doing here? Your screws aren't long enough? So we just got started on this project out here. What are you making babe? How wide are you going to do it? Three pellets wide. Trying to make it hey wide guys, enough so the bucket of the tractor can fit in to scoop it up. And also turn it. I know that book you got me last Christmas. Um, the cow book, the cow girl book, she was saying that she turns her compost piles with a tractor too. Are you all making Dada <laughs> Maybe you should share with Dada. It's melting so fast it's running down your hand. <laughs> Dada. She doesn't have anything. Tuberculosis. So in addition to our pallet project, Dada is going to be teaching me how to use a screwdriver today. Oh, that's what I mean. <laughs> show me how it's, show me how you work it. Just pull the trigger. But it makes a horrible noise. How do you know you're not messing something up? Because it's a hammer drill. It's hammering it in. Oh, okay, so it, that's why it's making that noise. Yeah. It's like multiple whacks really fast. Yep, the vibration helps it go in. So how do you know when to use the sheath and when not to? Well, you want to use the sheath to get it started, or else your screws will have to turn on you. Oh, it's a guiding device. Yep. yep. Okay, so... Um, are you just gonna go with those screws that you already have and try yeah, to like double stack it? Yeah. Okay. I have to cant some of them in. Uh, 
<laughs> Somebody's coffee. Process. Somebody's coffee and uh, phone chicken. needs to go. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. Sand it down. Mm -mm. She no, she did not. Miracle, what are you doing, girl? Let's see if she. Emma, stay still. Let's see if she tries it again. This crazy girl. She just literally tried to jump straight up on there. But what worries me is she could get her legs stuck in the top. <laughs> Are you going to make a playground for her? <laughs> no, Dada's making us something. What is it? It is to make compost in. What do you make compost out of, Ems? Be with miracle? You want to be with Miracle? She's out here. I just want to be. I know. Apples. Apples. Run. Run bananas and trash and lots of trash and poop. That's what you make compost out of? Yeah. Like what kind of trash? Like plastic and stuff? Mm -hmm. No, that won't break down to dirt, will it? it it's root trash. Root trash? <laughs> root. Oh, fruit trash. What about like um, old newspapers and stuff? Yeah, that too. That too? But. Yeah, actually it will. And old leaves and stuff. You gotta have some brown stuff and some green stuff. Miracle, what you doing, babe? <laughs> So babe, are we going to fix this to the fence or just leave it loose? I think it'll stand over time. Yeah? We get it back up to the fence. I thought... Add some compost. I thought it all the I thought it was the... 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 You know... You thought it was what? Oh, you thought we were making another pen for Nelly? I don't know. Even bigger. Yeah. No. We're going to start putting her in the field. <laughs> Mommy's going to order some electric fencing so that we can do a rotational grazing thing with her. Grazing. Eating. Yeah, grazing means eating grass, babes. Sure. You ready for me? No. All right, tell me when you're ready. Where did you get these pallets from? And on Facebook, yeah. Facebook Marketplace. Yeah. We've gotten quite a bit of stuff from there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's funny, it's like way taller on one side. <laughs> It'll work. Wow. Good. I am the sun inside the top of me. <laughs> so initially I was thinking like two pallets or one one deep will be really good. What are you thinking now that you see it laid out, babe? I need two. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Cause I just don't know how mounded up you could get it like with just one. I'm not liking this pallet. Not? Why? It doesn't have the two by fours to attach. Oh. It's not as sturdy, right? I can make it work. Finny, get down, buds. Alright, uh, yeah. Y'all back away, please. Two and a half 
got screws? Yeah, I can use that for everything. <laughs> <laughs> the goats are really curious about this. I don't know why. They are like, what is going on? You know, this would be a really cheap uh, loafing shed. Yeah, I thought about that yeah. too. We just have to put, a, put some tin on top or something. Which would be easy to do. How much is a tin for a uh, like a piece of it? That stuff that I used. Uh huh. Uh, I don't know how much for foot, but the, uh... Bye bye, careful. I seen like a uh, 20 foot piece. Mm-hmm. And it lows. Don't quote me on this, but you know I am about figures. <laughs> I think a 20 foot piece was 60 bucks. For a 20, oh, okay, and you could cut it in half and do like pray the whole roof, huh? Maybe a second piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So even if you did pallets for the whole thing, like you might just pay like uh, 120 for just the roof, right? Yeah. Would you need a slope to it or you could just do it flat? Okay. Uh, you definitely want slope. Mm. That's what I was thinking too. Finn, be careful, Bubba. Finn, be careful, honey. Sit down. That T post is right there, babe. Careful. You and Miracle are playing King of the Hill over there, huh? So I'm really wanting to do my rotational foraging program that I got the idea from a farmer on YouTube. But um, I've been researching the no-till drills and they are crazy expensive um, so I'm not wanting to till up the whole the whole hay field because or the whole field because our um, soil quality out here is already so not so great like it's nobody has done anything with this in a really long time it's just straight clay soil out here um, but I'm wanting to um, come in with a no-till apparatus and plant some foraging crops so they have like the higher protein content than just straight grass um, especially since Nellie is going to be inseminated pretty soon coming up in October and she um, when she has a calf she will need a higher protein content right now we're supplementing her with grain but um hoping to have a different plan in the future um but if anyone has any suggestion for a cheap no-till option that you can do acreage with please drop it in the comments below one thing I had considered using was the no-till grass seed planter because they have them for a couple hundred bucks at Lowe's. But I'm wondering if you can only plant grass seed with that and not like the larger seeds like corn and millet and things like that. If anyone has any, any recommendations on that or any knowledge on that or if you've ever purchased any no-till options. I'd love to hear you weigh in on that. So we got our pallet system all up here. Emma, just a sec. We got our, you wanna see it? See the video? Oh, honey, you can, no, no, no. You can't hold it. You can see the real thing right there. So we got our pallet um, area of compost all ready. And this is all of the old spent hay, poop from the goats and the cow that we've collected um, that Emma is gonna need a bath right after this. <laughs> what are y'all doing? Heaven. 
Right. Hey, what do y'all think about our family project? Did we get a lot done here? I think so. Emma, what do you think? Great. <laughs> One afternoon. We are gonna get that well, piled up. Yeah, I gotta go get the coffee grounds out of the kitchen. They say that'll break it down faster. But the reason why we chose this spot as opposed to somewhere in the yard would be a little closer to bring the kitchen scraps is because I read on Google that um, uh, the sun will actually help to break the compost down faster and this area is definitely in direct sunlight. So here's our field watching the sunset. But we get really good sun out here, so hopefully this will break it down. And as we um, fill this guy up here, we'll start making another one or two or three um, compost bins. But we get a lot of manure and everything on our farm, so we want to take advantage of it. I'm not sure if you can see. Hey, Ems. I'm not sure if you can see, but way up there, there's the man starting to come out. Y'all tired yet? Look up there, baby. There's a little crescent up there. Oh, you wish you were closer, huh? It's a pretty good view from here though, right? <laughs> uh, I don't see fire. Come on. <laughs> A boost. <laughs> Just a second. I gotta put the camera down. <laughs> <laughs>